Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Travis from Chasing Anthems coming at you guys with another reaction video. Uh, we've been checking out a lot of guitar players, and so more recently I've been like, you know what, let's switch it up. Let's check out some bassists. And uh, so, I, you know what, Les Claypool has been on my list uh, of guys to check out, learn more about. Didn't really listen to Primus growing up. I knew who Primus was, and I could probably pick out some of the songs, um, but not a band that I know a whole lot about. And so, you know, I figured, hey, if we're going to check out bassists, we got to check out Les Claypool. So with that being said, today we're going to be checking out My Name is Mud live at Rock uh, Palast Festival. Rock Palast? I'm not really quite sure. If I'm saying that right, 1997, this was a great time for alternative music specifically, uh, you know, with MTV doing all sorts of that stuff and live concerts were in full effect. Uh, this was definitely an area that I era that I, uh, you know, appreciated. Right. Obviously, growing up in that time period, it was it was a good time for music, in my humble opinion. I'm sure you will tell me different in the comments, but that's OK. That's what we're here for. With that being said, if you need the channel, please consider subscribing, like, comment, share. Do all that kind of good stuff. And then when this video is done, go ahead, hit the channel icon or go down to the description section and click the link so you can check out some original music. we got a new single coming out. It's called Santa Cruz. It is going to drop March 17th, St. Patty's Day. Can't miss it. If you're a subscriber, you'll know about it because we're going to drop a reaction video right here and send out notifications because you're not going to want to miss it. With that being said, though, let's get into today's video. There we go. Man, a lot going on there. Well, a lot and not a lot at the same time. Um, that I, I mentioned this in the um, a Victor Wooten video that I did. Here's a link above if you want to go check that one after this video. But I I talked a lot about how like the bass is very rhythmic instrument. You typically the bass and the drums are in lockstep together, and the kick a lot of times is uh, or the bass often follows the kick uh, traditionally speaking and you hear a lot of that uh, the, the rhythmic patterns in his style of bass which I think is pretty sick it also reminds me now I know that these are bands in totally two different playing fields but just bear with me just for a second that that slapping with the palm muting on top of it to get that uh, that dead sound that muted bass sound sounds a lot like um, corn a fieldy. I said it. I'll walk away from it now. I know they're in two different there, and I believe it's probably two totally different uh, fan bases. So I'm sure you were probably, if you may or may not have been offended by that liking Primus. But with that being said, it's got a lot of similarities to to Fieldy as far as the bass goes. Now he's playing a six string, which you don't see that often. So I'd be curious. Let me know in the comments. Is the tuning B to B? Are we just dropping down? Um, uh, on the low side and the high side or adding going up on the high side um, or is it some other interesting tuning um, but 
very rhythmic. Uh, obviously, the vocals are different. Uh, I wasn't surprised by that because I've, I've heard Primus. Um, but the other thing, too, is as a three-piece, there's a lot of sound coming out of them as a three-piece, which uh, is, is not easy to do by any means. Uh, but obviously, they're pulling it off. So let's keep checking this one out. My name is Mud. <laughs> I love. I got to comment on the crowd here. You have a very mixed bag of um, people loving it, maybe not understanding it, or maybe just too intoxicated to really identify what the heck is going on. But this is '90s attire for you. Those of you that grew up in the 2000 era, it's dress way however you want. If it's plaid, if it doesn't match, it don't matter. No, we didn't care in the '90s, right? It's a different time, all right? We, alternative was in, baby. That's right. <laughs> uh, does anyone, the other question was going to be, does anyone know what the heck he's talking about? What is, what is the meaning behind uh, My Name is Mud? I, most songs have a backstory, not all, but I, I'd be curious, what are those innuendos that he's referring to so I can maybe uh, get a little insider uh, knowledge to what the heck he's singing about? Uh, I don't know, you tell me. City boy.
my there you have it my name is mud if uh i want to roll back here real quick the look on his face right there it says it's time to quit man it's time to quit there's only so long i can do this I, I know this is satire at this point but you know what it's time to to move on to the next song but hey anyways with that being said that that's primus right there my name is mud uh please let me know in the comments if there's a better video to check i think i got more questions uh that came up then questions answered so let me know uh how can we learn more about primus and what would be the best you know artistic or maybe uh the best bass um playing that uh les claypool has out there i know uh the man is is legendary in the bass community but i want to know what you think is the greatest um of his performance especially live i love checking out live videos it's always fun but with that being said thank you guys so much for tuning in today please be sure to subscribe lock uh, be sure to like comment subscribe do all that kind of good stuff and go check out some of original chasing anthems music with that being said i'll catch you guys on the next one peace